Okay guys, welcome. Another production update. So as you can see behind me, we've got the deck that's going on for boat number one. So it's a big milestone for us. We've had to, um, when we got two components coming in that have never met each other before, so we've got the hull mould, the deck mould, and finally we now get to see those parts coming together and, uh, and join. So, so James and his team, the production team, has spent uh, the morning just taking the deck up and down a few times. Sorry about the noise, we're, we're, just, uh, we're into the new shed and we're all busy building boats, which is good. But um, yeah, so the, so the process is that we, we, we're calling a dry fit where the deck comes down and they're essentially just trimming the top of those bulkheads, making sure that everything's a nice fit all the way through. So, so in this update, you'll see a bit of the deck going up and down. And then uh, we'll also have an interview with James talking about how we actually do the, the deck joining process using the glues, um, glass, etc. Um, so you can really understand how we tie in the structure for that, that deck joint. So part of the process of getting this deck on and off is we have to lift it up and down a number of times to check the fit and trim a little bit here and there and check everything. But to do that we really need a overhead crane and we recently moved into this factory which is much better equipped for the type of work that we're doing. And you can see here we have a spreader bar and overhead crane that we can control very carefully, very slowly, and it's very convenient for us to get this deck up, do what we have to do, lower it back down, and we'll do that several times until we're happy with the fit and uh, preparation work that we need to do for this joint. Okay, so with the 1370, we're doing things a little differently to what we've done traditionally. So traditionally, we would have just glass taped everything in the boat for all the joints and connections. So we're doing a hybrid. So we're doing a combination of glue and taping, but we're not taping everywhere. We're taping in high load areas. Um, but for the glue, we did a bit of uh, research, we've done some testing, and we've gone down the uh, metal acrylate base glue method. Uh, and this machine here that we're looking at is our dispensing machine for that glue. Uh, there's a part A, which is in mat drum, and a part B, which is on the other side. So it's a two-part mix, just like you're uh, similar to epoxy or uh, polyester resins where you've got a, a resin and a hardener, this is the same. Uh, this is a 10 to 1 mix, which is a very typical mix ratio for this type of glue. Um, there are a number of brands on the market. Um, we're using a Bostic brand, but uh, there's many brands that make more or less the same thing. Essentially, each worker has a gun. Um, you can see here we have part A, actually you can see on here part A, part B. Um, they're the two different glues and you have air coming in here which drives the machine, a trigger. There's also, I won't put it on, but there's a nozzle that comes on here and this nozzle has a plastic mixer that, that goes through the centre of that. Um, because this is a 10 to 1, this is, um, you can see there's two holes there, so you've got part A and part B. So it's important that those two don't uh, mix with each other, otherwise you end up gluing up the gun. You can see the two plugs there that fill. So when you put the nozzle on, it connects that hole into the nozzle, and then the nozzle has a special spiral insert that then allows those two chemicals to mix together so by the time it comes out the end of the nozzle it's thoroughly mixed and ready for use. It's just a retainer cap to keep the air out, keep it clean, ready for next use. So once this has been emptied they will then bring it back to the machine here. This gets plugged in, clamp on, and then that'll refill that and then we take it back off and then we continue gluing up the job 
We have actually four of these guns for this machine, so we have four of them rotating constantly. So if we have a small job, we're only using one. Something like a deck, we would have all four of these running because uh, we have a lot of surface area to cover. So, okay, earlier we mentioned about um, gluing the boat and then in some areas we'll be taping as well as gluing. So this is a very typical area up here. So we've got hull here, deck up here, and this slight gap here, which is not quite sitting all the way down at the moment, but that will be the glue joint area. And that will continue all the way right along the full side and across the top of the bulkhead. However, over and above that, this area here, and on the other side, plus across all of this bulkhead, they'll be taped both sides and all around that area. It's a very um, critical area for structure, so we don't want to take any chances. So we'll be fully taping it like we've done with the rest of the bulkhead. So that'll be fully taped to the deck. And then of course, where we've got just glue only in some of these low load areas, we've got fasteners from various bits of deck gear that will be coming through there, so that will also have some mechanical bonding there as well. Um, so that's just to give you a bit of an idea from the glue that we talked about earlier and how it will uh, join these together and then the glass taping which is done in the high load areas. These are the, this is the port side uh, owner's side of the boat and a little bit about the windows here. So this large um, open area here is a fixed window, there's another one in the forward cabinet there and this small one here is actually an opening window so this is for ventilation um, so that's kind of important. Um, this recessed area is where the blinds will go and then the smaller recess which is here there's a fabric surround there which finishes it off nicely, hides when the blinds up and any fittings down below so you get this nice um, finished window look. Uh, so that's those ones there. And then in the ceiling, if we come forward a little bit, there's actually two ventilation hatches in here as well. So you've got one above the bunk, which is here, and then there's another one here in the corridor, which at the moment we can't get to because the, they're using the little lifting point. Um, but this is a second ventilation. So between those two and the one on the side and then there's another two further down in the back in the bathroom that gives the whole boat lots of ventilation. Okay so this is on the deck down in the salon area and as you can see here this is the seating for the settee. There'll be a table here. Um, you can see the holes which uh, in this area there's uh, some electrical stuff. We have aircon in that corner and then these are mostly just storage. Um, as we sweep around over in this corner there is where the nav desk would be. Um, that's not built into the mole so that's a, uh, a timber uh, unit that we then fit to that. And as we come around a bit further over here you can kind of see it in the floor the two raised areas so this is where the cabinets would be placed for the galley so this creates this u-shaped U uh, effect for the galley that you've seen on the renders and uh, locks you in from so you don't uh, in bad weather you can control your balance um, so you can see it's quite big quite large and um, very practical <laughs>